And yes, Barbados has made more changes to their travel protocols again. In today's video, we will be talking about the latest Barbados COVID-19 travel updates, effective October 1st, 2020, and based on guidelines from the Barbados Ministry of Tourism. So welcome back to Trending Travel. Please note that all previous updates will remain in effect until September 30th, 2020. We will be discussing all you need to know about these new changes. So we encourage you to watch the entire video. Also, remember to like, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when we post new travel updates and remember to share our videos. So let's get right into it. Barbados reopened its borders to all international travelers on July 12, 2020. In our previous update, we discussed the updates for September 24, 2020, which included mandatory PCR testing for persons traveling from high and medium risk countries. In case you had missed it, please see our previous video by clicking the icon in the top right corner of this video. Now, let's do a quick recap of the Barbados entry requirements. Even though we have already covered the entry requirements in a previous video, in order to avoid any form of confusion with the new updates, we will also do a quick recap right here in this video. Barbados now has four different risk categories, namely high risk, medium risk, low risk and very low risk countries. You may pause the video to take a look at the countries in the different risk categories. For entry into Barbados, travelers need to do the following. 1. Complete the ED form or the Online Immigration and Customs form. This form has personal health questions relating to the COVID-19 symptoms. The form will be available for completion at travelform.gov.bb and should be submitted no less than 24 hours before departure. Once all required steps are completed, and supporting documents uploaded, travelers will receive a barcode by email. Number 2. Obtain a negative PCR test from an accredited facility within 72 hours of departure. This is mandatory for persons traveling from high and medium risk countries. Please note that persons traveling from low risk countries are also being strongly advised to take a COVID-19 PCR test and will be allowed to present test results taken up to five days before arrival. This will help to speed up the airport processing time. Persons traveling from the low risk category without a negative COVID-19 PCR test will be tested on arrival. Be reminded that persons from the very low risk category are not required to do a COVID-19 PCR pretest for entry into Barbados. After submitting the COVID-19 PCR test results online at travelform.gov.bb, travelers are required to travel with a copy of their test results. 3. All passengers must wear a mask at all times on flight and at the airport. And 4. Incoming travelers must undergo a health assessment, which may include a temperature check and a brief interview by the port health personnel. Please note that persons traveling from high or medium risk countries who does not have proof of a valid negative COVID test will be denied entry into Barbados. Now, let's look at the new update which is effective for October 1st, 2020. Number 1. Mandatory retest is required for high and medium risk countries. The mandatory second test for travelers from high and medium risk countries will now be taken within 4 to 5 days after the first accepted negative test. Number 2. Introduction of monitoring for travelers from high risk countries. In addition to a period of quarantine, travelers from high risk countries will be monitored for 7 days after arrival. Monitoring will include interviews and assessment with public health professionals. If necessary, during the period of monitoring, you may be asked to undergo an additional COVID-19 PCR test. And number three, change in risk ranking for the United Kingdom. 
based on the country risk assessments conducted by the Barbados Ministry of Health and Wellness, the United Kingdom will be categorized as a high-risk country. And as such, persons traveling from or transiting through the United Kingdom will be required to follow the protocols under the high-risk category. Next, let's take a look at the options for the second test on the island. And in case you're wondering, the second test actually refers to the test after the first test that was taken in your home country. Option 1. The test can be done at an approved government facility, including government polyclinics, at no charge. Option 2. The test can be done privately by the medical service providers such as Urgent Care Mobile or the Sandy Crest Medical Center. And option 3. Arrangement for testing can be done at your place of stay. Please contact your accommodation management regarding the available options. Please consider that associated costs for options 2 and 3 will vary based on your specific requirements and the relevant service providers. Now, you can look at the protocols at your own pace. Certainly, some of these protocols may or may not apply to you, depending on where you're traveling from. Therefore, we won't overwhelm you with all this information. In this section, you may simply pause the video and look at the protocols that may apply to you, at your own pace. First, take a look at your country's risk category. Here are the protocols for the high risk category, the medium risk category, the low risk category, the very low risk category, and the in transit passengers. There you have it. Thanks for watching. If you find this new update helpful, please like the video and let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more important travel updates. Remember, we want you to stay safe. Barbados or other destinations could make travel changes or close their borders at any time. Therefore, please accept full responsibility to seek up-to-date information about all possible risks before making any bookings or other arrangements. See you in our next video.